Or another top story here. Police in Guilford said they are fed up with car thefts and they are making it known on social media after another spree took place in Guilford, Madison and Branford Thursday morning. Fox News Julia LeBlanc is joining us now live right outside the police department with more details on this. Julia, good morning. Good morning, Tim and Erica. Yeah, you can tell that Guilford police are just fed up with this trend by that lengthy post on Facebook and on the post. You know, normally when you see car thefts happening like this, it happens when cars are unlocked and people get into the car then they steal the car. However, in this case, according to the post, the perpetrators took it a step further. So let's go through that post again. Take a look at your screen. Police say people went around to houses on the shoreline at six o'clock in the morning on Thursday. And when they found locked cars in the driveway, they say they searched for unlocked doors in homes. When they were successful, they got inside, found the car keys, stole other items like credit cards, small electronics, wallets and purses, and then they stole the cars too. We're told they stole a total of three cars, and it all happened within a matter of minutes, according to police. Then they went on a spending spree in Naugatuck, ultimately ditching two of the three cars stolen in Waterbury. The Waterbury Police Department was able to track at least one of the people, according to this Facebook post. Now, the Guilford Police Department using this as a reminder to tell people to not only lock your cars when you get home for the day, but also make sure you are locking those windows and any other entry point into your home doors back doors, any entry point, make sure it is locked because they say in this Facebook post that these people went into the homes while people were home, while dogs were there, while they were barking, not caring that people were home at the time because just because they could, they could enter their homes. We will, of course, be following this story for you throughout the morning, so stick with us. We are live right outside the Guilford Police Department. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61 News.